Tony Coy, Copter 101 here. What I got for you today is a review of another racer. This is the Fox Tech Lightning 210 racer. I'm um, looking at this Fox Tech uh, Lightning 210. Um, it's all carbon fiber. Uh, this is the ready to fly version. I'll, I'll go into details on the uh, transmitter here shortly. But uh, yeah, this is the ready to fly version. And when they say ready to fly, it comes with almost everything you need. I don't believe it comes with a battery. Uh, I think you have to provide your own battery. Uh, Fox Tech did provide me with a 4S battery, so this should uh, truck here. <laughs> We're gonna find out here shortly. We're back at the Spangler Hills so that I can really open it up to see what it can do. But um, looking at this quadcopter, again, it's all carbon fiber uh, structure. Should be very resistant to uh, crashes uh, because of such. Uh, it comes with the ready to fly version, it comes with the R9DS uh, nine channel receiver. Um, it has a NACE 32 flight control board. It has a, uh, well, I can't remember the, the number of channels on the FPV receiver. Or, oh yeah, I do. It's 48 channel, 48 channel FPV transmitter. So um, all in all, you know, you have uh, your whole selection of uh, frequency bands on the transmitter here, on the FPV transmitter. Um, it has a, I believe it's 700 TVL camera on this. Uh, the motors are Fox Tech motors, but, and they are uh, brushless 2205, 2300 RPM per volt motors. And I said kilovolts in previous ones. I was corrected. That is RPM per volt. <laughs> that stands for. Um, the camera platform is right here and uh, there is not much real estate to put the receiver so in the ready to fly version they put this uh, R9DS receiver onto the camera platform where normally I would put my um, Mobius camera so what I've done it because of that is I put a velcro tab onto the battery itself and I've mounted uh, for today's flight I've mounted my 808 keychain camera for this first flight uh, let's get see. Comes with tri blade props to give you extra power. Hopefully, we'll see if that really helps. Um, I like the way this is flat on the ground. Um, I was just testing another one the other day. It actually was using the battery as its landing pad, and I don't know if that was a great idea or not in the design. But this one, you can land flat as a pancake on the ground. The antenna for this is a single antenna from the receiver, um, and they have it taped to the belly of the uh, quadcopter, and that's to keep the this antenna from flopping into the propellers. Uh, so this is a belly-mounted propeller. We'll see how effective that is in flight. Let's go over the transmitter. The ready-to-fly version comes with uh, the AT9 transmitter from Radiolink transmitter from Fox Tech. Um, it's a nine-channel. It's got all the bells and whistles on it. You can think of buzzer. Uh, alerts, uh, timers, everything. But for flying the little Fox Tech 210, all you need is a mode switch. Now, I didn't mention the mode. The Fox Tech uh, 210 comes with a NASE 32 flight control board, uh, programmable through Clean Flight. Now, I went into Clean Flight. I did not adjust anything on the uh, flight controls of the or flight control. Uh, uh, configuration file of the NAS32, but I went in with Clean Flight just to see what the switches were set up to. And for the ready to fly version, all they have set up is this switch here, switch C for selecting angle mode, horizon, and all the way down for acro. So that's all the, the settings this has set up in Clean Flight. I am going to fly this with the stock settings here today just to see how it performs with the ready to fly version with the uh, AT9 uh, transmitter. Uh, that's about it. We are going to fly. I'm going to record FPV via my Sky 702 um, diversity receiver here. And uh, I think we're ready for flight. So let's go for a flight of the Fox Tech uh, 210 Lightning from FoxTechFPV.com. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, we are ready to go. We're getting we're ready to get started to go. First thing I'm going to do is turn on my 808 keychain camera, which is on the top there. And we got yellow light and pressing to start the recording. And the next thing I'm going to do is turn on my transmitter, 89 transmitter. And next thing I'm going to do is plug in the battery onto the quadcopter and plug it all the way in.
so we know that it is not going to come loose and I'm going to double check my FPV reception turning on my FPV receiver and I do have a good signal a very nice signal from the camera so we should be good to go now um, let's see unlocking is down and to the right and we're going to start off in angle mode here and I want to show you real quick here's a fail safe on this let's get a little throttle turning off the transmitter 1001, 1002, 1003 and then it goes back into idle it runs in idle at all times the way it's set up hold on a second folks I want to check one thing I want to make sure my I looked at that FPV antenna looked a little loose and it is a little quite a bit loose let me tighten that up by hand right now I should have tightened that with a wrench okay FPV antenna is tightened double checking it again FPV reception still good so let's go for a flight of the Fox Tech 210 starting up the motors and increasing the throttle okay it hovers nicely winds coming in my, it directly in my face let's let it blow back toward us and then I'm going to try or let's just fly it around first before I do any punch shots I want to see how it performs in normal flight well, it flies nicely okay ready set punch out let's bring it down and do that again <laughs> screaming puncher <laughs> I like the way those motors scream on this one okay let's bring it down now let's do some normal flying I forgot to turn on the timer <laughs> I have a timer folks but we're just gonna fly this until it gets sluggish just getting the feel for it first flight loves to climb I'll give you that Trying to bring it back down again. It flies well, actually. It accelerates well. I'll give you that. Better accelerate well with that 4S battery. Now that 4S battery, I, I, I don't know if I mentioned it or not. I want to make sure. But again, this doesn't come with uh, 4S battery. You have to provide your own battery for this quadcopter. And Fox Tech gave me a 4S, which I put on here. <laughs> but, you know, it's ready to almost ready to fly, in, in other words. But it certainly is maneuverable. flies well actually I kind of like this one everybody says oh you like everything no that's not true I've had some issues with other quadcopters <laughs> let's take it for a high-speed run around the lake See how it climbs when you try to you go from high speed to uh, try to convert, try to turn in high speed, it climbs. But yeah, this thing flies like a champ. Okay, one more time. Let's, while we still got some battery power. <laughs> Come back here. Come back here. I want to do one more punch. Love it. <laughs> Certainly has the power. 
I have the power. <laughs> Power punch, maneuverability, yeah, it's a good quad, a racer, very maneuverable. Very, very maneuverable little Fox Tech 210 Lightning. Fox Tech's got something here. Okay. Starting to get sluggish on the punch now, so that means my battery's getting low. Again, you know, these racers, you only get about four minutes, five minutes of flying. And I've been flying this for a while, so. And I forgot to turn on my timer, but that's the first flight. We're going to take it easy on this first flight, especially with its battery. Just show it to you. Again, nice quad cup here. Nice racer, Fox Tech 210 Lightning. And we'll bring her in, because I didn't turn my timer on. And there's a timer on this transmitter too, and I didn't use that either. Go away, bug jump. There was a buck laying right in my nose. locking it. So let me unplug it real quick. First thoughts on the 210? Yeah, they have maneuverable little uh, racer quadcopter. Fox Tech's got something here. The only thing I don't like is the, the position of its uh, receiver. Um, they put it up here on the platform. I, that's where I love to put my cameras, but uh, I guess you could put it on the battery like I did with their uh, Fox Tech uh, 4S battery that they sent me. So uh, nice little racer, very fast, lots of uh, punch. Hope you enjoyed this flight. It's Quadcopter 101, signing out.